go full screen. <clears throat> All right, y'all, it's 12 o'clock. I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. Welcome back, you guys. <clears throat> Coach Luis here. 12 p.m. on a Friday. That means it's time for Functional Fitness Friday, and we're ending with some guided breathing. What we're going to be doing today, you guys, solid little circuit, EMOM circuit. So every minute on the minute, we're going to be changing to a different exercise from before. For those minute intervals, we're going to be working for 45 seconds and then resting and transitioning for about 15 seconds. So usually we kind of run it a little bit longer through the minute today, but what I got going on in the workout today is going to be a little bit more challenging. So I wanted to give us a little bit more time to rest and transition. So what we're going to be doing is four intervals per round. We're going to do three rounds, going to give us a total of about 12 minutes. So to start today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be on the ground doing a primal press variation. So that's that hands and knees plank pretty much. We got the hands planted on the shoulders, the knees are under the hips. We're going to push down through those toes. Lots of 90 degree angles here. I'm nice and flat, but what we're going to do here is stay nice and supported, really tight through the core. We're going to extend one leg out behind us. We're going to try and hold this for about 15-ish seconds, 10 to 15 seconds. We're going to bring it back in. Same thing, other side. So we're still within the same minute. We're going to switch, and then we'll bring it back. Knees can come down. We're going to move on to the next exercise. The next exercise is also going to be a challenging single leg variation, and that's going to be some push-ups. Now, we only really want to get a few going at a time here for each side, you guys. So nice, solid, high plank here. We're going to squeeze one glute. We're going to lift one leg up towards the ceiling a little bit. Come down nice and slow. Lock it in. And then push back up. Again, just two or three of these per side. And then we're going to switch it over to the other side. Get that other heel up. Get the pressure on the other oblique sling. And then we'll get it going on that side as well. So what we're going to do is switch through the middle of both of those rounds. Up next, we're going to do a squat variation. Now with this squat, we're not going to come all the way down as deep as we usually do. What we're going to do, my dog is at the, the door trying to get in. What we're going to do here <clears throat> is basically have our feet planted about shoulder width apart. Got to let them out. Well, we're going to have our feet planted about shoulder width apart. And we're going to come down to, we want to see about a nice 90 degree angle in our knees. And so for me, it's coming right down to about here. We're just going to hang out here for a sec. We really want to feel all these muscles around our knees, especially our quads kind of just load up. And then we're going to push away. If you guys want to challenge yourselves a little bit today, what we're going to do is load up all the way down and then come up, maybe just a slight little hop there. If you guys are in a position where hopping or jumping is not going to be conducive, totally okay, not essential for our workout today. We're just gonna be going up and down, nice and slow with that squat, really just trying to connect and feel those muscles up front. Lastly, what we're gonna be on doing is on our back, core exercise, dead bug to hollow. So arms are gonna be up, legs will be up, starting bent. Gonna straighten those legs out, reach up overhead with those arms and try and hang out in this hollow position as long as we can. As soon as we feel this form start to break down, contract those core muscles, bring those legs and arms back in. This will be kind of our, our less tense spot. The core still has to be locked in with the arms and uh, legs here like this, but then we'll get back into it. Hollow, spread apart, legs nice and straight, low back still connected to the ground. So we'll go back and forth in between those two positions. So those are our four minute intervals here today, guys. That's what we're going to be doing. Three rounds, we'll get kind of in and out with this one. We'll cool down and then we'll get into our guided breathing. So <clears throat> let's go ahead before we get into the warm up, before, I, or before we get into the workout and I set the timer up, let's get into our warm up. Let's go ahead and stand all the way up. We're on our feet in the middle of our space. Not a whole lot of equipment required today, guys, just some space on the ground. We're going to get into that slow march. So if you have the space to take those socks and shoes off, I highly recommend it. We want to balance on one foot, let it grip the ground, and then we'll place that other foot right under our hip. We're really trying to lock in our glutes here. So up nice and tall, pelvis like a bowl of water. Try not to let any water tip out of that bowl. 
Good job, you guys. Good job. We really just want to feel that glute squeeze. Bouncing on one leg. We got one more each side. Nice, solid squeeze. Let's bring that foot back down. Last one here. Driving that left knee up, whatever knee it is for you. All right, and back down. Good job, y'all. Okay, second thing we're gonna do for our warm up is some plank to pike. So getting into our high plank position, we just wanna warm up those shoulders and that core here. So plant those hands under the shoulders, get the feet out behind us. We're in a nice straight line, basically head to the back of my heels. I'm gonna push those hips up, pushing the head through the gap in between our arms, and then coming all the way back down. Tightening and bracing up that core like someone was about to hit us. Couple more here. Lock in those shoulders as we come down. Last one. Good, there we go. All right, we can put those knees down. Good job, you guys. All right, we're feeling a little bit warmer. Make sure you guys got the necessary fluids around. I mean, I might need, I got the water right there. I'm gonna set up our timer. We'll get going here in a moment. All right, you guys. So like I said, four intervals, three rounds, gonna give us about 12 minutes to work here. Gonna heat it up real quick. We'll cool it down. We'll get into our guided breathing. All right, we're starting with our primal press, AKA that hands and knees plank. We're gonna shoot one leg out back at a time. Starting here in three, two, one, here we go. All right, so let's find that position. Get those knees up. We're gonna shoot one leg back. I'm gonna try and hold it. You guys are gonna realize that that other leg is gonna get a lot of attention here. All right, let's bring the first leg back in. We're gonna switch. Good, there we go. Good job, you guys, good job. All right, let's switch again. See if we can get one more switch in here. Big squeeze in that glute, like our warm up here with the marching. Last one, switch. Good, bring it back in. Perfect timing. There we go. We can set those knees down. Good job, you guys. Okay, next up, it's our single leg push up. We got some time to breathe, we got some time to grab water. We're going in three, two, one. All right, hands under our shoulders. We're finding that good push-up starting position. Let's pick one leg up, doesn't matter which one. Let's try and get three push-ups in here. Staying nice and square to the ground. Good job, you guys. Okay, let's switch. Let's get that opposite heel up. Core's gotta stay tight with this one. Last one here. Good job, you guys. Let's take a little rest. Still got time within this interval, but I only wanted us to get only a few reps in at a time here. So a little extra rest. Up next, guys, it's our squat. Let's go ahead and stand it on up. All right, and so remember, the feet are very, pretty narrow, probably more narrow than our usual squat pattern and that's okay. Both feet pointing relatively straight like we're standing on some train tracks. Gonna slowly start to come down, pushing the knees out over the toes. 90 degree angle with those knees. So right here, now I'm just hanging out, feet are gripping the ground. The knees are pushing away from each other. And now we can stand up. Squeezing those quads and those glutes, essentially pushing the earth away from us. This is how we're gonna stand up. Let's keep going. Go as low as you comfortably can. Feel everything around those knees. And then we push up. Good. All right. Come on down. Good job, this is our last rep. And we're back up. There we go, you guys. All right, dead bug to hollow. We're coming back down to the ground. We're lying down on our backs. All right, guys, we're gonna start here in three, two, one. Let's get those arms up, legs up. We're bent at the knees. 
to start, back gets glued to the ground. And then we're extending those arms and legs out away from each other. Pushing yourself, seeing how long you can hang out here before it starts to break down. We need to bring our arms and legs back in. We don't wanna push ourselves to almost failing. We wanna save a little bit of gas in the tank. We got two more intervals just like this in the next two rounds. All right, bring it back in. Got time for one more, here we go. Lock in that core, you guys, and time. Good job, everybody. Okay, we got to flip. We're on our hands and our knees next. That's the end of round one. Round two coming up. All right, here we go. Hands are right under the shoulders, knees are under the hips, pushing down through those toes. Let's get one leg out back. Big squeeze to that glute. Bring one leg in, other leg goes out back, squeezing through that glute. All right, same thing, another switch. Good job, everybody, good job. Try and keep that back nice and flat. Another switch. Got time for one more switch, here we go. Last switch, there we go. And time. Oh, perfect timing, you guys. Okay, single leg push up coming up next. Man, these are tough. All right, guys, here we go. Let's find our good starting position. We're just gonna try and do three. On each side, we're gonna give ourselves a little bit more rest here in the middle. Let's get one leg up. Good, using the whole side of each shoulder and arm. Let's put a leg down, rest here for a moment. Good job, everybody. Okay, let's plant hands again. We're doing the other side now. So the opposite leg is up, core is really tight. We're getting in three. Last one, good, right on time. Now we can rest. Good job, everybody. Okay, we're up on our feet. Breathing here. Feet are planted about hip width apart. Toes are going straight, here we go. Coming all the way down, 90 degrees, there we go. All right, let's push up and away. Good job. As we go up, guys, we're squeezing the glutes and those quads. Slowly going down, slowly finding that position that we can lock into. And then pushing the earth away. Good job, you guys. Good job. We're still going here. Coming down nice and slow, nice and controlled. Good, push away and that's time. Good job everybody, shake them out. We're on our backs next, dead bug to hollow. All right, remember gluing that back to the ground. Here we go, let's get those arms up, the legs up. No space between that low back and the ground. And get the arms and legs away from each other, trying to hang out here. I'm just seeing how long we can keep it going. Big squeeze right around that belly button. Good job, you guys. Remember our strong exhales are gonna help here. Good, way to keep it really tight there. Remember, I'm trying to pull a towel out. Don't let me get it. A few more seconds left. And time, there we go. We can rest those arms and those legs. All right, one round left. We're almost all the way through. Let's prepare guys. We're going here in three, two, one. Hands are planted. 
Knees under the hips, we got those knees up. Kick one leg out. Solid hold here, solid line, heel to head. Let's switch. Again, big squeeze through that glute, similar to our march. Let's switch. Good job, y'all, good job. Big squeeze and switch. Good work, last time we gotta do it. Here we go, last one, left and right. Big squeeze. All right, last one, last switch here. Here we go, hold it and time. Good job, everybody, good job. Best one yet right there. All right, so it's our single leg push up coming up next. We're gonna go in three, two, one. Let's get those hands planted under our shoulders here. We're squeezing through the armpits. Core is tight, we get one leg up, we're going for three. Good guys, give yourselves a little bit of a rest. Breathe, we wanna make sure these next three reps are really quality, it's that opposite leg. All right, so let's plant those hands. Here we go, get that one leg up. Good job everybody. Right on time, we are resting. All right, guys, 15 seconds. We're doing our squats up next. All right. Remember, narrow stance, 90 degrees is our goal. Try and get as close as you can to it. All right, let's start going down. Nice and slow, whole foot stays connected to the ground here. Trying to control it. Right about here is 90 for me. Let's push with the ground away. Good, grip the ground with those feet. Here we go, we're going down again. Hold it, and then we push the earth away. Really wanna load up our quads here. Going down again. Good, find that position. Lots of squeezing around the knee. Push the earth away. We got time for one more, here we go. Slow going down. Good, and we push away, that's time. Good job, everybody. Okay, let's find the ground one more time. We're lying on our back. Legs up, arms up, here we go. This is where we can start to push it, you guys. Nothing left after this hollow position. So let's make these holds the longest ones we've had in this workout. Big squeeze around the belly button. Don't let me pull that towel out from under you. Keeping those legs and arms up the entirety of the way. Don't let them hit the ground here. Good, there we go, you guys. Almost done, less than 10 seconds, let's go. Good, and time Ooh, man that felt good okay all right you guys so all done with our functional fitness workout good job everybody good job all right so let's go ahead and lie down on our backs once again where we're going to be spending the rest of the class essentially let's go ahead and get into the back of those hips they played a major role and a lot of stuff we were just doing. Let's take that right ankle, bring it up right above that left knee. We can pull on that knee a little bit across the body. If this is giving you a medium stretch, hang with that. If not, we can elevate that left leg, reaching through the gap between the right and the left and pulling either on the back of the left knee or the front of it. Just trying to exaggerate that right rear hip stretch a little bit more, not too much but just enough so you got a medium stretch. We feel like something is lengthening and then let's focus on calming our breathing down. Good job, guys, good job. 
Nice long breaths. Keep that stretch medium. Do whatever you need to do. Good. All right, let's slowly let that leg go. If you had it elevated, we're gonna switch to the other side. Left ankle coming right up above that right knee. We're gonna elevate that right leg. Interlace the fingers, pull on that right leg a little bit. Good. There we go. Find that medium stretch, you guys, and we're breathing into it. Where we feel that stretch, let's try and send some air that way with our bodies. Good job, y'all. Keep breathing. Good. Let's do one more big breath. And we can slowly release that right leg, bring it down, uncross our legs here. Now we can begin to get into our guided breathing session. So can okay, find a position that you guys feel is comfortable. For me, it's typically lying down with the knees bent. Feel free to straighten the legs out or even sit. Just make sure, excuse me, make sure if it's a comfortable position that you guys can relax in. If you can, let's try and put one hand on the stomach just so we can really feel our diaphragmatic breathing today. That's what we're gonna be doing, trying to blow up the entire torso, make it expand with our inhale and then letting it deflate with the exhale. So if you have your hand on your stomach, as we inhale, think about breathing into that hand, making it rise or push away from you and then having it fall and deflate as we exhale. The interval that we're gonna be working on to start is four, two, five. So inhaling for a count of four, holding for two, and then exhaling for five. And as we go along, you guys will probably be able to lengthen one or multiple of those intervals. But that's where what's going to be our starting point here today is that four, two, five. So let's start to get going. A combination of breathing in through the nose, the mouth, always accepted here you guys go with what's comfortable first and then we can start to push it a little bit if we need to There we go. By now, starting to get a little bit easier. The hold is getting a little more manageable. If at any point you guys feel the need to grab some fluids, feel free to do so. Go ahead and sit yourself up for a moment. Want to avoid any kind of choking if we can. Ask the body to slowly lengthen the breath now if you can.
If breathing through the mouth is giving you a little bit trouble, try switching over to the nose for part of these intervals. And the reason being is that the nose takes in air and it's conditioned and made warmer by our nasal cavity. And then it's sent down to our lungs to receive that air just a little bit better than the kind of cold air that we can suck in with the mouth. Play around with the combination and see if you notice any differences. The goal here is to just relax, wash away any tension with each exhale. Great job, everybody. Keep going. Everyone's doing great. <clears throat> we're, end, or, we're approaching our final minute here of breathing. So let's continue with whatever interval that we've been able to comfortably maintain. Continuing to let the hand rise and fall with each inhale and exhale. Make the next two intervals our final two. Good. And now we can begin to start bringing a little bit more awareness back to our surroundings if you haven't already. Feel free to stay in this position, continuing to breathe. I'm going to bring myself up here. This is all the time I have left for this session here today. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope this was a nice, relaxing way to end your week. I hope everyone has a great weekend. I look forward to seeing everyone next week. Take care. Bye-bye. <clears throat> Good job, Dan. See you next week.